Hello, this is Haku the Bean, and today we are going to be reading in the SCP-1507, also known as the Pink Flamingos. If you like this this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have... Oh, wait. That's the end, not the beginning. Oops. Let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-1507, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Instances of SCP-1507 are to be housed within the Site-77's Wilderness Observation Deck. In the event that Foundation staff need to interact with SCP-1507, person of, of interest to is to accompany them into the chamber. Staff must be a minimum of 15 meters away from person of interest S-1507 when in the presence of SCP-1507. Any request person of interest as fifteen oh seven has in relation to to SCP fifteen oh seven are to be reviewed under by the current research head. Person of interest fifteen oh seven is allowed to encourage to have daily interaction with SCP fifteen oh seven. I might start calling any person of interest fifteen oh seven by the name Bob. SCP-1507 is the collective decision, oh yeah, description. SCP-1507 is the collective designation given to 30 plastic lawn flamingos of unknown, unmake, or manufacturer. Instances of SCP-1507 bear no notable behavioral differences from the average American flamingo, save for an increase in territorial behavior and lack of vocalization. Said behavior often results in attacks targeted towards Foundation staff. The only individual on none to circumvent their behavior is Bob, otherwise known as Leroy Day. Oh. Human level old testing being performed on Leroy suggests reality bending abilities. Though all conversations with him have come back as unclear of his awareness of his abilities. Fuck. Addendum 1507A. Following our phone logs recovered from from Leroy's phone during the acquisition of SCP-1507, due to a lack of compliance resources in an interview, it was unable to be taken from Leroy. Mark, you called? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm still not used to this yet. <laughs> You're fine. I'm still getting used to it myself. This is weird as all. Yeah, I don't doubt. <laughs> I don't know how I'd react if I stop if I just stopped hearing one day. Well, just in case it happens, let me tell you something. Keep your crown and pencil and paper or something to type. It's the only way folks will talk to you. That sucks. You get used to it. I mean, I guess. So a bit lonely, isn't it? As I said before, you get used to it. Now what were you calling about? Oh, right, I'm coming over today. And I bring a sort of get well soon gift. Oh, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for you. I think it likes to spa in my garden. <laughs> it overlooks the corner pond, so it probably likes to watch the little guys. Glad to hear that, man. I just knew you said you'd miss those old, old watching trips to mouse. So I tried to, well, bring it to you in any way I could. Oh, god damn. You got me crying. Ah, I really do appreciate this, man. You're the first to come visit me after are getting out of the hospital, so it really does mean a lot, even without the gift. Wait, what about Henrik? Your old boss? Oh well, if I'm being honest with 
it was uh, as a roundabout way of letting me go. Dude, that's not okay. Is that illegal? Mm hmm. He could probably fight the case with Ronis, and I and, and I'd rather not lose money on it. Well, it freaking sucks. God, I'm sorry if people are being crappy to you, dude. Tell you what, after our, our work tonight, I'll make you whatever you want, okay? Sounds good, and I guess if that's the case, seven isn't off the menu, is it? Not one bit. I'll be over at nine. Hey, I saw you have some more flamingos there. I'm I'm assuming that the little guy was a pretty good gift. He's great, honestly. Best pet I've ever had. He doesn't need food or water or anything like that. Hell, he doesn't even bite. But I figured he was getting a bit lonely with just me. <laughs> well, it looks like he has plenty of friends now. He does, and he's so happy running around with them. Hey, dude. Been a while since I've heard, heard from you. Everything okay? Yeah, just work's been piling up recently. And I've been re acing to beat that clock. Oh, I don't envy that at all. Hey, I saw you saw the news today. She seems really proud of her work. <laughs> we got a whole poop already back here or now. <laughs> they play so well together. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Are you doing okay, dude? Oh, I'm fine. Just, I don't know, getting hired to, well, talk to people, you know? <laughs> Leroy, I'm... I'm sorry I missed your, la your past few texts. You know what? I'll take you out again, and tonight, to that one barbecue place you like. Calories, is it? It is, but seriously, dude, I'm fine. Then consider this an apology, Emil. You know, I just can't complain when I'm paying. I guess that's true. I know you're driving, but before you stop, just text me. Right, sorry, I keep forgetting. It's fine, what's up, dude? Well, you keep your flamingos inside. Yeah, they don't really like the rain. What do you mean? They just don't like it. It gets inside them and admires them and all that stuff. Dude, I know you've been obsessed with them recently, but you realize they're not real, right? No, they move and play with me. They're plastic. Yeah, but they move around and they, they play. You know, if you turn the car around, I can show you. Not gonna lie, it's a weird way of saying you want to go home. I don't. I just want you to see the flamingos. Fine, dude. Let's eat and you can take me back. See, I told you they play. I don't know why they don't like you, after all. You're their uncle. <laughs> I guess they're overprotective of you. I'm sorry. This wasn't meant to happen. You're fine. Discovery. On August 3rd, 2012, a series of 911 calls were received in the Clay County area. The calls were noticed to have a male crying and uttering various unidentifiable phrases. Due to the nature of the call, it was flagged for scanning and a Foundation agent was sent out to the call. When arriving on the scene, the agent reported it 
Leroy attempted to unsuccessfully resuscitate another man, who was later identified as Mark Farman. They had multiple stab wounds, presumably caused by SCP-1507. Leroy, after ta being taken into Foundation to custody, was amnesticized following an ethics committee order. That was the law in flamingos. If you like this video, please do like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!